All right, everybody. Welcome back to the rising top till it drop for the Nintendo Wii. So his Brad is telling me that he can shoot those uh, tanks to kill multiple zombies, and you get extra experience points for killing the dogs, as well as the parrots. Actually, the parrots give you more. So I'm gonna try to do that. Pick up a saw blade. You must reorganize my inventory. For now, I'm not gonna make any space. I can ride the bicycle. A lot of tanks around that definitely are encouraging me to, to use it right now. Where's Brad? He's being attacked. Probably should get rid of these zombies first. It's completely optional. I mean, no, not completely because you need to actually advance with Brad. It's like another escort mission. Fucking parrot. Whenever I have the chance to kill him, I will do so. Well, I guess this counts as a melee weapon, but... Oh, there is another dog. Let me see if I can kill it. Madonna! My Madonna! I'm about to level up again. Assuming it's the blue bar, the one that allows you to level up. There we go. And now I increase the durability of the sub weapon. Interesting. Yeah, at least I got another sub weapon. When I'm gonna kill as many zombies as possible, including animals, of course, because they do count as zombies, believe it or not. Probably for the parrots, I would need a gun. So let's aim. But I would need some help from the camera. I'm probably not wasting bullets in zombies. Yeah, they're kind of way too close, so I need a better camera angle and see them from a distance. Like now! See, they give you more points. A pool gives you 600 points. Each parrot gives you a thousand. Three in a row, motherfucker. Yeah, that's very little experience, actually. The gauge didn't increase anything. Of course, it will be tougher and tougher, but still. It's just level three, come on. Alright, where are we? Oh, yeah, we're gonna interact with the switch to open this up. I think this is where the old man used to be. This is where we found him. The loading times are exactly the same in both versions, 360 and, and Wii. Oh, look at that. I think I want it. Oh, another cutscene. Sure. Well, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me safe you passage. Just open this these... gate. Just open this gate no. for your protection. Just I am not us. opening any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay right Do here. Dr. What Barnaby. Is safe. Sir. Thank you. Dr. Dr. Barnaby? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's actually very safe. Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. There is no further information on who this guy is. It's just Dr. Barnaby or something. Also known as Grandpa Joe. So, entrance plaza. Looks like you got 
the shutter open if you want to change into some fresh dudes. Just take what you need from the clothing shops. Oh yeah, I can change my clothing. A lot of people like to do that. I'm not really a big fan of wearing fancy shit. Alright, time to kill. Yeah, that's another reason why I should kill um, zombies more often. Pick up ammo as well as money. Oh nice, it defeated the parrot with the saw blade. Wait, did I drop it? Or maybe the zombie made me drop it, but I keep I wanna keep using it. Fucking bird, it was right about It took one extra second and it fucked it up. Where's the bird? I want that little experience. I think Brad got back to the safe house. So as you can see, I'm on my own. Yeah, I hear him, but I cannot see the... Hey, I was about to say guy. It's a fucking bird. He's right above me, I think. You know what? I should take this and get out of here, because... Kill a couple more zombies in the process, but yeah. Killing the parrot would take a while. And we need a good camera angle, blah blah blah. So by the way, the arrow is actually pointed at the, the safe house. That's where you need to go. Nice. Yeah, but now I ran out of the... Um, I got more experience for killing a certain amount of zombies, as I was telling you a couple of parts uh, previously on the series. Can I go faster? Yes, I can, totally. Fucker. Well, that's a lot of blood. You know, for, for a power attack, I mean. Oh, back at the... Food cart. Mixers. I think from Dead Rising 2, actually, this weapon combination, speaking of mixing, right, was uh, more common. Well, of course, for the third one as well. There was a zombie right behind me all the time and I wasn't noticing. Actually, kind of noticed. I was just concentrated. Okay, probably the only thing that I kind of dislike about the first couple games is that it takes a while to move from in between areas. Like, you have to constantly return to the safe house and basically you need to, like, deal with a lot of or waste a lot of time moving from one place to another and sometimes there is no actual story progression probably you can get experience you can get weapons you can get food on the way but honestly the explorer is not as exciting it's not something that you really look forward to doing uh, in between missions so right now I'm showing everything because Basically, there isn't so much going on. There isn't a side mission either. It's from the other side. But yeah, I'm getting close to the safe house. This is where I think I rescued the girls uh, in the... In the escorting mission. The second escorting mission I did. I always have to remember that the, the, door, the door to the safe house is right next to this... Like, bookstore, I think? But yeah, probably that's the, the, the thing. You, you don't really, or I personally don't really look forward to exploring. Sometimes you just have to wait for a certain time 
for the next story mission to unlock. So yeah, now we are being introduced to this Queen Bee thing. So if you kill the Queen Bee close to a bunch of zombies, they're all gonna die brutally. Well, zombies are already dead, but you know what I'm trying to say here. Do you? But yeah, they kind of die brutally, as you can see. Yeah, just by... Okay, beautiful. Just by killing the, the Queen Bee, essentially, you can... Uh, kill a bunch of some of this uh, together, pretty much the same effect as, for example, shooting in a gas tank. It causes something similar. So yeah, you can actually capture the, the Queen Parasite That is inside some of the zombies, and once you kill it, you kill a bunch. So yeah, I'm kind of out of health. Remember, you can always recover fruit, specifically at least, in the safe house. So right now, I have no problem at all in using a couple of them. As you can see, zombies made it to this one place. At the beginning of the game, they weren't able to access this area. So now, fortunately or unfortunately, whatever you want to consider it, they will be invading the um, the roof as well as the inside of the elevators so let me see can I select the the B the cannot really tell what it is I, I'm curious about this books thing I will take it a look at some other time All right, let's do it the old school method. Killing them one by one. I'm just gonna be wasting a few bullets. I can perfectly just go up the elevator without having to kill anybody. I'm just clearing my way and getting more experience and money in this case, just because. But it isn't really mandatory to kill everybody in order to go up. So yeah, as you can see the elevator, and I think that the roof, or the top, no, right now there is, I don't see any zombie, but there should be zombies in this area at some point. I'm kind of spoiling things right now. But I don't care. So I guess by making it back here, I will be triggering another cutscene. Probably it will reveal another piece or another case will be engaged. So as you can see, I'm recovering the food I used to recover my health. Something I already told you. And here's the cutscene I was telling you about. Girl! Once again. Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The old coot's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We gotta line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're gonna have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right, we've gotta deal with the situation we've been handed. The boneheads back at HQ might be working on something too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Uh, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Well, still not clear what Dr. Barnaby has to do with anything. Anyway, I'm done with case number one.
as you can see so I can save and start the new mission Okay, this cutscene appears at certain time. Apparently it's 7 o'clock. So I don't know, the zombies become more violent or something. They look more beautiful. Anyways, guys, I'm done for the time being. I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you next week with more episodes of The Rising.